so today we're going to talk about the old tune Salt Creek. And I like this tune because it is in the mode of Mixolydian, meaning that it has an F chord and its melodies has those F naturals. So if you haven't seen my video on Mixolydian mode, you might want to go check that out. It might help you um, know a little bit more about this tune. But this is one that's going to come up a ton in bluegrass jams. It's one of those favorites. I am teaching it out of open G. At the same time, understand that a lot of people play this in A. In particular, if you're going to play this with mandolin and fiddle players, they love it in A. So you're probably going to want to learn how to use uh, the capo on this and transposing it up to A once you're done learning it in G. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's walk through this Salt Creek. And what you're going to do is you're going to start on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and you're going to just simply slide in to the fifth fret of the fourth string while doing a 4-3-1 roll. So it looks a little something like this. And then the fifth string. So we have this. So it's a forward type roll. And then the third string with our pointer. And then a pinch, our timekeeper. It sounds like this. I refer to this as my rolling backup uh, lick. From there, you just have a Cripple Creek slide, which you should already know. Three, two, five, one. I'm going from two to four. First fret of the second string, and then another pinch. Gives it a suspension kind of sound. All right, now here's the difficult part. You're going to be playing out of an F chord. You don't have to make the full F chord yet, but what's ca happening here is you're making the F chord and you're hitting the second fret of the third string and pulling off to open like that. And while doing that, you're going to hit the second string. Um, at the same exact time, or slightly after, I mean, so. And then the ring finger comes down to the fourth string, third fret. So this sounds like this. And then finally one of the, uh, the first string there. I'll do this a couple times. You're going to do that three times. In the pattern, three, two, four, one. If you didn't already notice, that is just simply an alternating thumb roll. I'll take it from the top. Ready, go. to the F, you're going to come to the third fret of the second string, second fret of the first string, five, two, one, five, five, two, one, five. And that ring finger is going to hop into the third fret of the first string. Now, when you get here, the roll pattern is now going to become one, two, one, five. But you've got to lift up this finger. So he's in, he's out. One more time. From there, you're going to jump over to the second fret of the third string and do a reverse roll. One, two, three, one, three, pinch. I'm going to take it from that uh, last uh, four bars there, I believe. very top slow. All right, 
right? So you repeat that twice. That is the A section. Let's go on to the B section. Now, for the B section, you're gonna come up to this G chord here, um, seven, eight, and nine. And the finger is simply going to be on the eighth fret of the second string. Everything else is open. Two, five, two, one, five, two, one. Now, I do a little slide. I slide. It doesn't matter where you slide. A lot of people get hung up, you know, where do you slide from? It doesn't even matter. You can slide from five, you can slide from six. So slide uh, on the second string. Five, two, one, five, two, one. Now, from there, the ring finger is going to hop into the ninth fret of the first string and you're going to play five, two, one, five again. Five, two, one, five. And this is a shape that I call the reverse diagonal. It's seven, eight, and nine. And that's a reverse, so it sounds like this. Five, two, one, five. Reverse diagonal, reverse roll. And I like to play that first string open. So I'm going to do just from the reverse diagonal. Forward reverse roll is all that is, by the way. It's forward. Forward. Reverse. You're in good news. You simply slide down two frets. Let's do the same exact thing again. So literally identical and then move back up. So that's the theme. Here we go. Down two frets. Back up. And guess what? The last two measures are the same for the B section and the A section. that on purpose. That way you have less to learn. Uh, let's take it from the top of the B section. Ready, go. So that is uh, Salt Creek. Basically play the A section twice, the B section twice. If you want to tab to this, I'll have it for my Patreon members. I also have it on my website, jodyhughesmusic.com. For those of you that just want to purchase the one tab, it will be on there. Links are underneath the video. Once again, thank you all for subscribing and uh, just tuning in and sharing and commenting. It means the world to me. It keeps me fired up and pumped up for banjo picking. You guys take care.